Throwback Thursday coming at ya. From yours truly, as always, I'm Ian Fuego. What's going on, y'all? How was your day treating you? Hopefully, smashingly. Passing along the positivity. You know how I roll. Uh, this is the 11th episode and uh, the final one of the second season of the Jaime and Fuego Rock Show. So I extend the bienvenidos to all of you amigos. Very nice to have you joining me today. And the reason I say that this is a throwback Thursday is because I'm actually going to be shedding the limelight on one of my favorite local bands over the course of the last four years. My original encounter with them was back when I was still fresh and wet behind the ears writing for Playtime magazine. And it was September of 2009. I was trying to find kind of a you know experimental indie type local rock band to do a write-up for. And I came across an amazing band. I cannot even sing their praises enough in this, in this brief uh, 10 to 15 minute program. But they're called Small Leaks Sink Ships. And I listened to their debut record, which is entitled Until the World is Happy, Wake Up, You Sleepyhead Son. And that was released back in 2007. I was so very impressed with it, did a write-up about them, it was uh, one of my first few published articles for the magazine, and I've been a big fan ever since. Um, as you know, always happens, uh, you start listening to other stuff over the years and whatnot, but I saw that these uh, awesome, awesome musicians were playing a show this evening at the Crescent Ballroom, and I was like, oh man, I haven't acquainted myself with them in a little while, so let's scope it out. So I proceeded to go and purchase their EP which is from 2011. It's their most recent release, and it's called the Oak Street Basement EP. And I have once again fallen back in love with this, uh, with this group. Fantastic stuff. The track that I'm going to be playing for you, as I do on this program, my local artist spotlight when I'm not writing for Examiner.com as the Phoenix Concerts Examiner about lo- or, uh, excuse me, national acts, is put this focus upon local acts for this daily program of mine. And I'm going to actually feature one of their epic arrangements. And in all honesty, on Oak Street Basement, I believe every song clocks in at over six minutes, or at least somewhere in there, with the exception of the initial track called Pray for Pills. And that was the one that I was really torn between playing. It was either Pray for Pills or uh, this last song on the album, which is what I ended up deciding upon because I have just such a soft spot for epic, just progressive arrangements as a musician myself, you know, that's what I always pursued in, you know, the uh, the works that I've done myself, and this arrangement is no exception, it is just amazing, it's mind-blowing, it's all over the place, basically think explosions in the sky, if they had, uh, I don't know, a younger Isaac Brock from Modest Mouse singing for them, you know, um, it's it's just going to blow you away. I guarantee it. So I'm about to play this for you. This track is called Shudder Some. And once again, these are my old school homies. Throwback Thursday, small leaks, sink ships. Here we go, y'all. <laughs> So 
I think the term epic might even be an understatement for that one, huh? Small leaks sink ships. Old school homies of mine here on Throwback Thursday, a band that I've been a huge fan of for a great many years now. That was their song Shuddersome, which is the final track on their 2011 Oak Street Basement EP. And I urge all of you, toss them five bucks or more. You do have the option if uh, you purchase it as opposed to iTunes through their Bandcamp, which is what I decided to do. And uh, the, top to bottom, the entire uh, five-track EP is just all over the place. It's experimental. It's um, just mind-blowing, I must admit. And I cannot urge you enough to you know seek that out and also their debut, Until the World is Happy, and I mentioned uh, before we segued into the song. So these guys are headlining a, man, it is just a top-to-bottom amazing list of acts that are going to be at one of our favorite local venues downtown. It's on 2nd Avenue, just north of Van Buren. It's just a quick couple-minute walk from the light rail station, so easy to get there. The Crescent Ballroom, the food is fantastic. The bartenders are totally kick-ass, the drinks are great, and the venue is small, it's intimate, Uh, I've been to many of shows there, and I just can't speak their praises enough, fantastic spot. Uh, The show's going down at 8pm, it's only 8 bucks, and you've got not just Small League Sink Ships, you've got Future Loves Past is going to be there, another one of my favorite locals that are actually uh, Jaime and Fuego Rock Show veterans as well, Decker from up in Sedona, they're going to be there as well, so... Um, There's a few others, but Small League Sink Ships, they are the emphasis today on Throwback Thursday. I, you know, just can't say how badass they are. Fantastic band. So please do check them out. Purchase that EP and uh, make your butts down the Crescent just to, uh, you know, find out for yourself just how powerful these guys can be live. So I know that's where I'm headed tonight. So I want to extend a grande gracias for everyone who made this second season of the Jaime and Fuego Rock Show such a stupendous success. I can feel that momentum breaming and building, which is just, you know, so encouraging to feel. Uh, starting uh, season three here in the next few days, I'm going to, you know, take a couple off, or maybe I'm not. I guess it's all going to depend on, uh, you know, who I see playing in the next few days. But, uh, yeah, season three shall commence. I do seasons of 11 in a tribute to Mr. Nigel Tufnell from Spinal Tap. So, uh, but I could not have done this without such a fantastic local scene of musicians here in the Valley and, you know, throughout Arizona, because I'm, you know, it's, it's not just Valley musicians that I cover, they just have to be from Arizona and playing here somewhere in the city. So I have to extend the thanks to all of them. A grande gracias, merci, arigato, danka. All those thank yous from all those different languages. And uh, this show wouldn't be anything without y'all. So I do thank you. If you want to check out any of my writings, uh, the actual printed stuff, uh, I'm on examiner.com as the Phoenix Concerts Examiner, as I mentioned earlier. I actually just tossed out an article about the reunited Black Flag show. I published that today. So if you want to scope that out, you can hop on Examiner. All you have to do is Google Jaime and Fuego. You'll find all of my recent writings for them. You'll also find uh, this Jaime and Fuego rock show. Please do subscribe so we can keep this momentum moving forward um, and we can get more eyes and ears focused upon these fantastic groups that we have here here in the here in the AZ, in the desert. So, uh, yep, if you also want to connect through the social media shizzle, I'm on the Facebooks, I'm on the Twitters, and all that stuff. So just Google Jaime and Fuego, as I mentioned. Thanks so much once again, y'all, and I hope to see you at Small Leak Sink Ships.